Honorable Union Minister Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad Ji, Union IT Secretary, Chairman, CEO, and GAC members of ICANN, and all the delegates, on behalf of the State Government of Telangana, we welcome you to the magnificent city of Hyderabad. I know you guys have been here for a couple of days, and this is the third day, but nevertheless, I thought I'll take this opportunity because this is the largest congregation of ICANN, I'm told, in the five days uh, that, it hap that it happens here. As we all know, and as uh, we have heard from Steve as well, technology has revolutionized the world we live in. In fact, technology has helped many nations, many states, leapfrog from where they are and catapulted them into the top league. Today, technology provides solutions practically to all challenges confronting mankind, be it the problems of hunger or disease or clean water or sanitation or transportation or anything else. Technology has a solution for everything. What was considered unachievable in our lifetime is already in our grasp and use right now. The creation of internet has tremendously aided in the dissemination of technology and its democratiz democratization. No other single tool in human history can said to be have had as much impact and as much as, as aided as much progress to the humanity as the advent of internet. The entire internet administration is in the hands of ICANN. This power, in my opinion, also brings lots of responsibility with it. It is now our collective responsibility to make internet even more a powerful tool. By powerful, I mean internet should become accessible to every person on earth. It should become more affordable and using internet should be easy and simple regardless of how much educated the user is, how rich or how poor he is, and so on. India today presents a fascinating case on the potential use of internet. For many decades, India had to remain content by being a developing economy. But we also have the aspirations to become a strong and developed country, developed economy. Information technology can be the magic wand that can help India make this great leap. But the Indian reality today is that out of the population of 1.3 billion, the internet population is less than 30%, which leaves a huge opportunity, a 70% huge opportunity for penetration, for making it more affordable and more accessible. The same issues of access, high cost, and language barriers, which Steve referred to earlier, 22 official languages, are responsible for the low coverage. But both Government of India and the state governments across the country together are making bold attempts towards internet for all. The government of India, under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister and our Union IT Minister, Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad Ji, have launched the flagship Digital India program. We too in Telangana, in our state, have our own version called the Digital Telangana under the larger rubric of Digital India. In fact, my state, Telangana, is poised to become the first in the country where every single household, we have about 9 million households, we are poised to become the first state in the country where every single household shall have a broadband internet connection in the next 18 months. <laughs> and one of our initiatives, which we are extremely upbeat and proud about, is the combination of synergies. In fact, we have embarked on a very large-scale project called the Telangana State Drinking Water Grid as part of which we are laying nearly 150,000 kilometers of new water pipeline. So while we, are while we have decided to dig up the entire landscape of Telangana, we also thought of combining synergies and laying fiber optic cable network along the side of it. As part of the drinking water project, like as I've mentioned, more than 150,000 kilometers of trenches are being dug up, and we're combining energies and synergies and using the same trenches to lay both water pipeline and also fiber optic cable. We are, however, conscious of the reality that even if connectivity is brought down to the doorstep of people, unless they use it, things will not improve. We need to work very extensively to make people digitally literate. The two challenges in the digital campaign today, one is infrastructure, two is obviously literacy. So we have taken it upon ourselves also in Telangana to work on digital solutions for providing better education, healthcare, real-time scientific advisories to farming community, for disaster mitigation, just to name a few 
opportunities that we are pursuing. We strongly believe that no technology is worth its name unless it has a social impact, unless it creates social impact and unless it alleviates a common man's problems and common man's day-to-day -day life. While there is a lot to feel optimistic about the world of internet, let me also add a note of caution here. We are increasingly witnessing the adverse consequences of internet in the form of cyber attacks, malware, phishing scams, pornography, online piracy, to name a few. As a state, we have done whatever best we can in the form of becoming the only state in the country to launch its own cyber security policy, being the only state in the country to have a an dedicated anti-piracy unit, and so on. But we realize that the challenge is much bigger and requires the collective might of all of us to tackle it with any success. I honestly hope that ICANN will take this issue as a priority and work on developing global protocols on data sharing, data privacy, etc. Finally, I'd like to welcome you all once again to the tech city of Hyderabad. We are today the go-to destination for all the marquee names in IT in the world. It is not a mere coincidence that out of the top five most valued technology companies in the world, four of them have chosen Hyderabad as their largest base outside of their headquarters. This list includes Microsoft, Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, and Uber, all of whose largest bases outside of their headquarters are right here in the city of Hyderabad. Hyderabad is also today the home to our country's largest technology incubator called the T-Hub, which was unveiled exactly a year ago on the 5th of November, 2015. I've also learned that some of you have visited T-Hub on the 3rd of November and have come back with some very favorable impressions. For those of you who have missed it, there is another occasion, there is another opportunity on the 9th to visit our T-Hub. Hyderabad is known for its hospitality. We are a historic city, and with great monuments, we also have some wonderful New Age um, shopping experiences and some wonderful New Age amenities as well. And this is the best season to visit Hyderabad. So those of you who are, while you're here to do serious business, I also urge you to take a look around, to travel, to visit some of these historical monuments, and to have a ple very pleasant and an enjoyable experience in Hyderabad. Once again, I welcome you all, and thank you very much for this opportunity.